by Fondland is to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Forests are simply breathtaking. Well, actually breath-giving. They provide us with resources for our daily lives and are critical for our physical and mental well-being. Together, we've made important progress in helping prevent deforestation. But it's still happening at an alarming rate especially in the tropics and subtropics. These places account for two-thirds of global deforestation. An area roughly the size of Morocco has been lost in these deforestation fronts. This destruction contributes to the climate crisis, the decline of wildlife populations, and affects our health. We can help keep our ice shelves from melting, we can save the wildlife that share this earth with us. We can create a better future for us. According to the recent statistics of deforestation in Malaysia, there were at least 36,868 deforestation alerts reported in our country between the 9th of July 2022 and the 16th of July 2022 covering a total of 453 hectares, of which none were high-confidence alerts detected by a single system, and none were alerts detected by multiple systems. As we all know, forests act as carbon sinks, helping to reduce carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions. And what WWF's operation have done is that now tropical forests alone contain 228 to 247 gigatons of carbon, which is more than seven times the amount generated by human activities each year. Eu nasci dentro da mata, cresci dentro da mata, e meu pai ensinou como se dá quando a natureza lá. A natureza para nós é a vida, a vida do indígena. Ela dá oxigênio puro, ela dá alimentação natural para nós, caça e pesca, é fruta nativa da mata, remédio. É vida nossa, é pulmão, é coração e pulmão do... Por isso que eu, eu decidi a defender. Aqui no nosso na terra do Rio Alpha, os dois invasores, desmatamento e as queimadas, né? Esse é um problema que está vindo muito, se avançando muito rápido e o desmatamento mesmo, principalmente, estão cada vez se avançando mais rápido. Continua prejudicando nós porque cada vez que eles vêm desmatando, vai chegando perto da aldeia. Né? Eu cada vez estou sendo mais ameaçado e não só o Rio Alpha, se sente ameaçado, todos os parentes do Brasil estão sendo ameaçados. Eu acho que devido ao governo, né? Porque ele, quando na campanha, quando eles querem ganhar o voto, fica fazendo promessa, incentiva os pessoal que está em volta ali com o olho grande, já incentiva eles a entrar na, na território da gente. Porque a gente também é ser humano, a gente só quer o direito que é nosso e quer que o governo faça alguma coisa para tentar impedir essa, essa invasão, esse, esse massacre de índio, desmatamento dentro do território nosso. Então é isso que a gente precisa. A WWF, ela apoia muito nós na, nessa parte de... Eles apoiam a nossa, o jeito de costume, né? De proteger nosso território. A nova agora para nós, para mim principalmente, na, que vai ajudar na parte muito agora, vai ser o drone, né? Que é uma ferramenta nova que tá vindo aí, que a gente... Nós mesmo indígenas, nós nunca imaginava que ia chegar a esse ponto que... 
nessa parte eu, a WWF vai ajudar muito e como ensinar a fotografar, bater foto e mapear com drone. E hoje nós veio fazer uma vigilância e nós veio e soltou o drone para subir. Aí acabamos de descobrir que tem a área desmatada do outro lado do rio Jamavi aqui, que é uma área desmatada muito grande. E a passagem desmatada aqui, ó, olha o tamanho dela, ela é muito grande, não tem fim, não dá para chegar perto. Essa parte aí que a, a WWF, a, a, o drone, vai continuar ajudando nós nessa vigilância, não é só na vigilância, também principalmente na queimada, né? Essa parceria aqui, que eu espero que não, não acabe por aqui, que continue. Eu quero ver a floresta em pé. Ah, eu quero ver a floresta em pé, isso que é minha esperança. Deforestation has contributed to social conflict and migration in Southeast Asia's greater Mekong region, where land tenure institutions are weak. Which is why WWF strives to put an end to this issue and many others as well. This is the fight for your world. And we're bringing everything we've got to restore nature. We lead projects on the ground to protect precious wildlife and habitats. We identify new solutions to stop food production destroying our forests. We empower people to use their voice to demand change across the world. We transform business through partnerships to put sustainability first. We challenge governments to put nature at the heart of all decision making. We investigate climate impacts to produce compelling evidence for urgent action. We inspire future generations through engaging educational programs. And we unite people under a common goal to create a thriving world for years to come. We are WWF, and this is the fight for your world. When you take away huge chunks of the Amazon rainforest to make way for cattle and agriculture, you're also taking away a jaguar's home. And when you cut down primary rainforest in Borneo for palm oil, you're also taking away an orangutan's home. But the production of food doesn't have to lead to the destruction of habitats and species. We need to be looking at things with a new eye, a new focus. And just like energy and the use of fossil fuels, we need to be out with the old and welcome in the new. But what do we actually mean by new? We mean, let's change the way that things are done. Let's reimagine the future. These problems are human made and they can be solved by us too. We need government and big businesses to be held accountable to ensure that their supply chains don't destroy more habitat. Rather than clearing more land, why not use what we already have and restore the land that we have abandoned? Better use of space equals less habitat destruction equals more wildlife. Simple, isn't it? We need government and big businesses to embrace clean energy, to eliminate waste, and let's eat what we produce. It can't be right that we live in a world where one third of all food produced is lost or goes to waste. And how about you and me? Where do we fit in? We can't escape the fact that the choices we make about how we live our lives, what we eat and what we buy are contributing to the mounting pressures on our planet. So if we're serious about halting the decline of nature and the destruction of their homes, we need to take a closer look at our own lifestyles and understand that by swapping the meat out of our burger, for example, or taking less flights, we can all help bring nature back. So the answer to how to save the world's wildlife is right in front of us. We just need the strength of belief and determination to help turn the page. Wildlife is not only amazing, extraordinary and beautiful, it is essential to all life on Earth, including our own. So let's work together to save it. <laughs>